The ICMF, the Intercultural and Creative Music Fellowship, essentially is a project where we selected eight music fellows and three film students, well, the three of you who are incredible, um, to compose a series of musical compositions with the backdrop of Aga Khan's vast collection of art and literature and history, right? That's this 11-week project, ICMF 2021. So, um, yeah, we're all, we're all in now, right? There's 11 of us. My name is Peter, and uh, I am a piano major. The day that I applied for the fellowship, I also applied um, for jobs in uh, a couple of kitchens and also as a ticket taker. So to get the opportunity to uh, pursue a job in my field and also um, working towards what I think is a really incredible goal was incredible for me. My name is Gabriella. I'm a bassist. The Aga Khan Museum, the idea of it in general has been very inspirational for me specifically because I am like a person of color, woman of color. Even though I'm not a part of the, the culture that is represented here, I think that it's so amazing that they want to represent the beauty and humanize the people and be like, they made art like this. The museum is about making sure that there's ways to know people that can help um, us overcome fear of the other and you know the arts are such a powerful way of doing that um, music in particular has a history of doing that there's a couple pieces in the Aga Khan Museum that really really um, spoke to us Dwight and myself are working on the third movement which deals with uh, a lot of kind of like the anxiety and the injustice of the modern condition one of the pieces in the Aga Khan that really spoke to me uh, when we were constructing this movement was uh, Faig Ahmed's uh, Dissolving Order. Uh, my name is Bita Purbash and I'm the assistant curator at the Aga Khan Museum. Faig, uh, he works with these materials. He, for example, in this case, it's uh, like everything is melting down. He breaks that pattern, pre uh, breaks that symmetry and also breaks that uh, unit form that we all, always used to see. Established order might break down, but in, in that it creates a, a space for new creativity. The idea of the melting pot, kind of like all of our cultures kind of melting down into one to create this piece of music. The music that we have now really started with just sharing about all of our own experiences and we've kind of just come up with more than one piece it's four movements and it tells a storyline throughout the whole thing for our piece me and me and angela's piece we we based it off the oliphant oh and remember we can mention that horn the horn that was at the the oliphant. horn from the, uh, yeah that's what i was thinking of so um oliphant uh, basically it's made from a tusk. But the motif that sh is shown on it, the carving that has uh, been shown on it, has a, like an older um, history. It shows also the travel that these motifs and the design has made throughout the century and reached uh, Italy. Thanks to the Aga Khan's teachings, as well as seeing the beautiful art in the virtual 
mentor that we got and i think that's really kind of molded my vision for the composition that i made so my composition the second movement for me is how the aga khan museum sounds to me I really like my piece with Rashane, like we're doing duos right now. So uh, I think the format of duo, it's good. And eventually in, <laughs> in parallel, each duo can also continue to develop the, 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 the ideas that uh, every duo was uh, referred to. It's a question of communication and showing and working and coming back tomorrow with, uh, you know, with, oh, we have this new one minute, please everyone listen to it. Good morning. I'm going to lay down some drum tracks and some vocal tracks. I'm going to send it to Gabby and then she's going to do her thing and you're going to see the magic. So see you then. I like the bass line and like that I wrote for that. I just finished my my bass part for the second movement. It was probably the hardest one that I had to do. fast, too ahead of the beat. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness. Okay, okay, okay. Finally got it after 20 takes, got the comp that I actually liked. And I will also probably want to add some stand-up bass. I kind of want to do some bowed stuff during those things. <laughs> I'm a vocalist. I'm paired up with someone who's who's eight and a half hours ahead of me in time, so it's difficult for us to to talk to each other sometimes and to find time that works for both of us. Hello. So right now I'm located in Yazd, Iran, and this is my very very old room. So we didn't have any desk, and I'm just gonna stay here for two weeks. So here is my funny setup for now. Guitars, headphone, laptop, sound card. Uh, my name is Behzad Danesh and I'm a musician and I play guitar. The time differences between Iran and Toronto, it, it was a bit intense, so we were a bit like behind the schedule. But overall, I think the fact that we could make it work is really special and that we could still feel everybody's energy through uh, those calls. So I will share the like the sheet for the Okay. I wish I had practiced it. Because this is beautiful. Like this one. It's so good. We have, I think we should do something with this. I love the chords that you're playing. Angela and Juan? Yeah, and I just, I just got to give Angela lots of credit because uh, she really took on, took on a role this week. And 
and step, stepped up and just made the arrangement and just kind of went, this is what I have. Do you like it or not? And I just went, yeah, of course, let's do this, you know? <laughs> Awesome. That's really beautiful. Wow. <laughs> yeah, really. Think about like everyone actually putting in their instrument. In there. And, and it's, it's not like... just like very simple, like piano voicings. It's going to be like Peter going. <laughs> yeah, just all fingers just going. Yeah. So I sent Dwight some harmony, uh, and he sent back a melody that he wrote over that harmony. Um, and it's really cool. It sounds like he went in a kind of like a jazz fusion kind of direction, which is not how I expected him to go. <laughs> It's difficult and I'm practicing. Kia's incredible. I feel like every session that we've had with him, he's kind of exploded all of our minds a little bit. Um, everything that he brings to the table gives us countless jumping off points and I think that he's just one of the most inspiring people I've ever had the chance to work with. And I feel really, really grateful that he was involved in this project. Whenever he's played for us in one of the calls, it really is powerful to hear him play. Working with Kia and meeting Kia, it was, it's, a very humbling experience because he really just like feels the language and the, the music instead of like, he doesn't really give us like, here are the notes for the stuff. It's more like the feeling of it and like, this is how it flows and I'll show you. And it's very, an interesting way of teaching that I've not really experienced in the Western world of music. What could I take from what Kia taught and put it back into what I'm comfortable in. So it's definitely like um, giving me a new perspective on how I go about making music. To reproduce a sound, you are not looking and analyzing thing. You are just listening and analyzing the sound and reproducing the sound. So it's, it creates another, you know, it creates another um, circuit in your mind than uh, looking at the score uh, saying, oh, this is a GBD and I play GBD, you know, but when you listen and it's da -da 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 -dum, okay, I produce da -da 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 -dum. He really brought in the musical knowledge, his uh, performance knowledge, his cultural knowledge and his experience as, an, as a teacher and collaborator. He really is he's very kind and very generous and he's, uh, he's given a lot to all the fellows, I think, so it's been a really nice experience.
this is like a project that many talented people has contributed to it and there was a lot of support that in a lot of documentaries we always tend to show the best of ourselves and that's awesome but there's a sun there's a certain vulnerability to being home we can do takes we mess up <laughs> we're there trying to figure out a lot of stuff we're human and i think that's that's one of the main things that this pandemic has given out to people the human side of artists so i don't know if people would be comfortable with showing that human side that's a part of the journey that's a part of the evolution I don't want this fellowship to end <laughs> ever. It's been really inspiring and it's been a it's been a very learning experience to collaborate with with some outstanding artists. Everybody has a niche. Everybody has a different has a sound even if the instruments kind of are the similar between us three each one of us has a different sound and we need to uh, identify that and utilize that in the best way possible without having to limit anybody. The people that are part of the fellowship are so genuine and and authentic that they make it really easy to connect and it's such a positive space regardless of whether it's online. Like collaborating on an online environment that's always obviously going to be pretty difficult especially transitioning into that like not being used to it. Before it would sound crazy to me that a group of people like this would be family now and I've only met them through Teams and Zoom. But all amazing, extraordinary creatives. Feel like I know everyone in this project for such a long time. Feels like a family almost. And we're having fun, lots of fun, trying to just make good art and good music straight from the heart. And that's what's most important. If we come together, work through our similarities, and celebrate our differences. We can really have a great time. If we can like all just try to have nuanced conversations, have some more patience, give it some thought, and really learn that we're all actually very, very similar. The music and the film uh, really reflects that. And I think that's that's beautiful for me. Bye bye. Great. Thank you. Bye bye. Thanks, everyone. Ciao, ciao.
I hope that the journey that we've been on uh, and that people get to see thanks to the documentary um, can maybe serve as uh, some small piece of evidence that it does pay to try to listen to each other and to try to understand each other and to collaborate. You know, we were all in this big call and then all of a sudden we came back and I felt this relief, like literally like, oh, okay, I can be myself or I can, I'm welcomed here or I can at least share my ideas and thoughts and laugh and, and kind of let go of that barrier that sometimes is there. I'd like to say a big thank you to Humber and the Aga Khan Museum for, for putting this fellowship together and for everybody that was involved with it, for all of the fellows, um, music and film, uh, to Agnea, to Kia, to Amira Lee, to Jennifer, so on and so on. Um, yeah, thank you so film much for crew. this experience. Thanks so much for this experience and yeah, I hope you enjoy what we've created and very excited to share it all with you.